from love I didn't need the pain Once or twice was enough And it was all in vain Time starts to pass Before you know it You're frozen Something happened for the very first time with you My heart melts into the ground, found something true Everyone's looking around, thinking I'm going crazy But I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you They try to pull me away but they don't know the truth My heart's crippled by the vein And I keep on closing You cut me open and I Keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love I keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love I keep bleeding, I keep, keep bleeding love You cut me open From what people have told me, my lyrics are very relatable, which is actually quite sad because a lot of my songs are very sad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryu and I'm a Singaporean singer-songwriter. I started music when I was really young. My mom, she was a stay-at-home mom and she would teach my sister and me music. So when I was probably four, my mom had me venturing into kind of like songwriting. I would say my music is pop music, with a mix of jazz and R&B. Okay, I'll talk about my most recent single, Quiet. For this song, the lyrics were a mishmash of experiences that I've had. Quite sad actually, because the song is about um, unrequited love. The inspiration for this song came from unrequited love I had for someone romantically and actually even for friends. So you know the feeling when you start drifting apart from your friends and they seem to not see you as significantly as you see them. So it's a mishmash of like platonic and romantic experiences I've had. From what people have told me, my lyrics are very relatable, which is actually quite sad because a lot of my songs are very sad. <laughs> I'm glad that people are able to resonate with my songs and find comfort in them. Ryu um, is actually kind of like my initials. So it stands for Rain Han Yu. Han Yu is my Chinese name. My friend Sarah actually came up with it. I remember it was in class, so like one day, our Lang Lit teacher didn't come to class. And after we finished all the work that he gave, we were just sitting there trying to think of stage names for me because I searched Spotify and all the rains were taken up. Like there were so many rains on Spotify and I didn't want to have to compete with them. <laughs> also, so she came up with it real and I thought it sounded really pretty. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that. A lot of local artists that inspire me are probably those that are around me. So I listen to a lot of NK, Regina, Regina Song. She's like one of my best friends. Jupiter Kid, Alicia DC, all my friends at PK Records. One of the most challenging parts were probably co-comparison with other artists. Like sometimes someone puts out a song and I'm like, wow, they're doing so much better than I am. I'm just happy to have people listening to my music, honestly. <laughs> yeah, there's no point in comparing because everyone's going at their own paces. <laughs> I've actually have had some listeners like write me a note or even like give me a gift after my gigs. I don't know, notes are so sweet because they feel so personal. Occasionally, like sometimes people like recognize me when I'm like just walking outside and like whoa that's crazy like thank you for listening to my stuff <laughs> you know I hope that this singer-songwriter career is able to reach a level of sustainability where I'm able to just do this without doing something else because I think especially in Singapore it's a bit hard to just pursue music usually people have to do something like their like main job usually something corporate and they use that to sustain their music passion at the side. So my goal is to be able to just do music and maybe even like tour in other countries. Yeah, that'll be so fun. I, I can't think of any regrets. I like to post my little songs on TikTok or like even song covers. I used to be so stressed because I'm a bit of a perfectionist also. So I would spend like hours 
like recording the same song and in the end I, I wouldn't post it because I would feel like it's not good enough but honestly I don't think anyone is like refreshing my TikTok page waiting for like a video to pop up and be like oh my god this this is not it you know I would tell my younger self to not be so self-conscious and just to be more confident in who she is. I do see efforts put into pushing the local art scene. There are like festivals, arts events. I think one reason why it's very hard for artists to make a living in Singapore is because people feel that they shouldn't be paying for art. A lot of Singaporeans don't really support the local art scene as much. Like they wouldn't want to pay as much as they would pay for maybe like Olivia Rodrigo, you know? I think if Singaporeans enjoy music from overseas, they'll definitely find something local that they'll enjoy as well. I hope to see many more rising artists, more collaborations, both within the local industry and with people outside. Until you finally